Uh, my name is Daniel James and today I'm going to show you how I sync music to picture. Okay, just to start off, I'm working in Ableton Live, which is unconventional as opposed to Cubase and Logic, but it works for me, so I'll get by. I've got a video here, which is an action scene from Metal Gear Solid Philanthropy, which came out in September. I really recommend you watch it because I hear the music's amazing. I'm joking, I did it, but yeah, it's great. Great film, really well done. Okay, so first off, what we need to do is we need to find waypoints in the music. Well, first off, let me let me just trim this down so that I'm working closer to the point. The reason I trim video down, just as a point, is uh, so that I'm working in real human time. So 15 seconds is 15 seconds, and I'm not magically 48 minutes already in before I've even started. I'll show you why that's important later when I get to the tools that I use to work out the tempo. Okay, so I'm working at 20 beats per minute, 4-4. Four, four. And the aim of the game here is what I want to be, what I want to happen ideally is to have any scene changes or highlights where you might want a musical boom or a change in direction in the music. You want it to land on a downbeat so that you can change the music and it sounds correct and it's not just abstractly halfway through a beat. Okay, so as you can see here, if I turn the tempo on, this scene changes. So I'm, so I'm at the fifth bar here. The scene changes halfway through. It doesn't change on the beat. So if I wanted a boom, it wouldn't sound right. Boom. You see? There we go. I don't know why I'm doing boom. I'm not a drum. Anyway, so first thing I do, and keep in mind this is what I do. This is not what you have to do. Obviously, whatever works for you will work for you. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to highlight this change here. So I'll get my mouse, I'll scrub along till I find the point it changes. I'm working at 32, 32s of a beat here, yeah, just so I've got a great, I mean, I could work with it off and be very fine. So it's about there. You see, but then I'm very, at 32s, close enough. So just here is where it changes. So I'll come up to the top here and I'll add a locator which is the change. So this is probably when I'd have my action music start. Keep in mind it won't be in time with the tempo calculator just yet. The type tempo calculator? What's the tempo calculator? It won't be in time with the, with the metronome just yet. Okay, so we'll move along. Jumps up some bullet shots. Headshot. Okay, let's highlight that headshot. I don't know, maybe you'd have some kind of big trumpet staccato. Maybe not trumpets, that might be a little bit light and a little bit heroic for someone having their head blown out, but okay, let's move along. So that happens here. So what we'll do is we'll come up here, add locator, boom, headshot. Okay, lovely. It's nice and graphic. It's another headshot. Plenty of headshots in this film. So if you're a fan of headshots, again, I recommend you watch it. Okay, so we've got another change here. Where they run from under the building into the courtyard. So here we want a change of music. We want it to be less boom headshot and more we're running into a courtyard now. Which tends to be a common staple in romantic comedies. Or not. So we want change, just another change. Okay, so now we have three three waypoints, none of which land on a downbeat, which is not what we want. Okay, so what we'll do is I've got my tool here in Safari, which is Franz Absil, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Film Cue Event Beat Timing. It's a wonderful tool, I'm glad I found it. So the link up here, yep, okay. And what we have here is we have, uh, we have what the time in real time this is, not in uh, queue time so you have minutes this only goes up to five minutes I wish it went up to more and I wish there were more actual event hits you could have at one time seconds and milliseconds up to nine okay so what I do is I go to my first change which is here where the scene changes I'm just gonna minimize the video here put it down here okay so zoom in and at the bottom here it tells me my real time real human time I'll get this down to the nearest milliseconds so not it's in between nine 
seconds 0.2 and 9 seconds 0.3 but it's leaning closer towards 9.2 so what I do is I come over to my Safari 0 9 seconds 2 million as you can see here here okay that's number one so we zoom back out boom headshot wonderful title okay this is landing exactly on 18 seconds 0.5 again come back over this is tedious work I do agree but as with a lot of working to picture it can be so 8.5 imagine having to do like 30 of these and you'll have an idea of what it was like scoring this scene okay 27.8 seven seconds eight milliseconds I mean this can go all the way up okay so now we've got all three in what we want to do is we want to set our desired tempo okay so it's an action scene and I want it to be relatively fast so I want my upper limit I don't want it to go much faster than 144 or we're going into hardcore Belgian trance which isn't really doesn't scream Hollywood action film so what we'll do is we'll keep it relatively small window I'll have it between 120 beats per minute and 144 what I have to do next is find best tempo it brings me up the best results within the parameters I gave it so the best tempo result would be at 136 beats per minute and this little number here tells me in seconds the amount of error there would be so up here this is going to be 0 sixth of a second off the beat this is going to be 0 three seconds off the beat this is going to be 0 0.01 seconds off the beat so that's very close on each of them you start getting into tenths of a second then it becomes a bit of an issue and you start to notice the change of the downbeat okay so we'll choose 136 beats per minute come up here change it to 136 right first thing you'll notice is that all my waypoints have gone off their desired point what I'll do is I'll put this on to quarter note grid now so you can see the beat one two three four so what we want to do is just find our change on the video down the bottom there so if I'm right and there's a very good chance I won't be that that should now change as you can see should now change on a downbeat although most of you eagle-eyed or eagle-eared people may have noticed it doesn't land on the beginning of a bar so all you have to do here throw in a time signature change here I've put 5-4 to make way for that extra beat and I'll change it back to 4-4 on the beat you don't always have to compose at 4-4 that's as a lot of composers tell me action music's more 7-4 well 7-8 actually but then we're going into compound time signatures here I'm just using a time signature change for a functional use so I need to fill in that extra beat and you don't always have to throw it in I could, could put the 5 over here perhaps maybe not because now there's all sorts of bandy stuff going on so you throw in a 5-4 there right so next we're looking for the headshot which is boom headshot it's just about here as you see that was off beat again so I'll just throw in another 5-4 again it's just a functional 5-4 you don't have to put it at the beginning you can throw it anywhere else between the two changes here we go and our last one was running out into the courtyard so that changes about here it's this one here there we go no it wasn't it was there and again that lands on an offbeat so I think that's what is that 2-4 off so I just throw in a bar of 2-4 there because that's 2 beats away or was it 1 I don't know I'm confusing myself now how many beats are we off there all sorts of bandy stuff right one two so it's on the offbeat again yeah so I can just throw in another five four here not fifty four four because that is a stupid time signature there we go five four it's landing back on the beat so there we go now we should technically have them all landing on downbeats 